Hi, this is Bob Pellerin, CTO Bob, and today we'll be opening up a very sought after NVIDIA. This is a 3080. So you may have been aware of the recent launch. They had released the 3070s, the 3080s, and the 3090s. Um, we've been waiting for a while and finally got a hold of a few of them. So we have one already being used to edit, and we're going to go ahead and open this box. Now, for those of you who are unconcerned or unaware of what's going on in the video card or the GPU uh, world, these are pretty much the ultimate. Uh, there is an equivalent right now because it was just recently announced from AMD. But right now, let's just go with this is the one of the ultimate cards to get. Um, a, they're in very short supply, so if you get your hands on one, certainly do. So let's go ahead and open this box. By the way, if you like these videos, please give us a thumbs up and even better, please subscribe. That really helps us out. We appreciate that. So one of the things you will find since I've opened one of these before, I will confess, is that it's a very large card. So if you're expecting something small and nimble, this is not the card. If you're expecting something fast, this is the card. Okay, so you got a few things before I open the card itself. This is a little bracket that comes with it. So in case you, uh, you need extra support, some of the cases will allow you to use this extra bracket. There is a bit of documentation. Unlike some of the computers, go ahead and open this actually. So unlike some of the computers, this is actually a bit of the warranty and so forth. It is in full color. Uh, on, on the front, it describes it. And it's really more about the warranty than anything else. It tells you how to put it in. Now, what you will notice with the card, apart from the fact it is very large, it is very heavy. This particular model comes with three fans. Again, this is an EVGA take. If you were to buy this directly from NVIDIA, you'd be getting what they call the Foundations Edition, uh, which I believe has one fan. And uh, so this has been optimized. If you'll notice on the box, it does say that it is, sorry, EC3, and that's basically what uh, they refer to as their cooling system, or they refer to their cooling system as that. And so what we'll find around here is uh, there's a lot of tape protecting all the surroundings. So you'll see there's one there, there's one, you know, so it's all over. So well, of course, if you are going to operate one of these, which no reason to buy one of these unless you put it in your computer, you will want to remove all of this plastic so it does not melt and do nasty things to your computer or to the card. Now, these cards are not cheap. Um, this is not the highest end. Like I mentioned, the 3080, uh, 3070 is the low end and the 3090 uh, is the higher end. Uh, this one here has 10 gigabytes of um, of memory, and this is actually what they refer to as GDDR6X memory. So it's a very fast memory on here. Okay, so this card features NVIDIA CUDA cores, has 8,704 of them. And let's go ahead and take the back plastic as well off. So it looks like it has a plastic here as well. So it has this part. I, I really like EVGA. Just in the past, we had one card that, that had a defect, and they were really kind to send us a brand new one as a replacement. And um, we found the service to be great, and that's one of the reasons why I've stuck to that brand for personal use. Uh, I do recommend other brands. Uh, oh, I mean, anything that's based on the NVIDIA really specs that follows them closely. Most of the major brands, Asus, Gigabit, uh, they will be good. A gigabyte, I'm sorry, they call them gigabit, but gigabyte. Um, they're, they're known brands. They're fairly uh, reliable as well. So in this case, uh, what you're getting from the third party brands instead of directly from NVIDIA, like I mentioned, is the fans, extra fans. And I think they've got better cooling, in my opinion. There's a lot of plastics all around. So let's take a quick look at the back. So the back features three display ports and one HDMI. So for those of you who have three video screens or four, this will handle it. 
Now this is, it features a second generation RT cores and third generation tensor cores. The, also to notice are the connectors for the power. So just so you understand, you need a power supply that is 750 watts or more. So if you have a much older system, this might have a problem with your power supply. Just make sure that you do have enough power to feed this card. Uh, the other thing that you won't notice on here is you cannot plug in more than one card. If you remember the old uh, or the older generations, you had what they called an SLI connector on the top, so you could basically bridge from one to the next and increase your your throughput. In this case, the card is pretty much a standalone. So you plug it in. So if you want to have more power than this, you want to go up to the 3090, then that one, for example, features 24 gigs of RAM. Um, so you're starting to get more throughput. Of course, there is a huge price premium on the 3090s. If you're going to get one for uh, you're doing, uh, you know, photoshopping, you're doing a lot of video and, and sort of, you know, that type of environment, uh, unless you're at such a level that you really truly want just the best of the best, uh, I would go for 3080. I think this is pretty much uh, the most bang for the buck that you're going to get. So uh, the once you plug it in, we're, I'm not going to do that right this second, but what you will see is that you can actually uh, see some color. So there's uh, LCD, LED, sorry. There's LED color that appears uh, on here and that you can turn off. You can change different colors. And um, I'm trying to remember where the, oh, the other one is here. So this one also lights up. So one of the newer capabilities is the fact that it does ray tracing. Now this card, if we were to compare it to previous ones, uh, if you go back to, for example, we were using 1080 Ti's, uh, this thing will be tremendously faster. I don't have the exact numbers in front of me, but if you were to have gone to the, the previous uh, version of this, which was a 2080, this is about twice as fast and for the same price. So from that point of view, it's a real, uh, I think you get a lot of performance for the price. Last but not least, what you will notice is the fact that it's using two slots. So you have to make sure that you have a case that supports or has this much room. So keep that in mind. So this has been Bob Pellerin, CTO Bob. Hope you enjoyed this video. Again, please feel free to leave a comment on the bottom. You can also find us at ctobob.com. You can uh, reach us uh, through there as well. If you have any questions, you want to email me that way, you can do that. And uh, we'll see you next time. We really appreciate you listening. Thank you.